Big news tonight as the United Methodist Church today lifted its long ban on gay clergy members. The move came during the church's general national conference in North Carolina today. The progressive move by delegates marks a, certainly a very historic shift in the church's stance on homosexuality. With that in mind, let's go live right now to KWW reporter Daniel Perot talking to a Cedar Valley pastor today, getting some reaction on this move. And you're live in Cedar Falls and I tell us more. Ron, today has been a long time coming for St. Timothy's United Methodist Church. Back in 2007, they made some changes to become a reconciliation congregation to be more welcoming and inclusive. The pastor here says that this is a welcome relief, but it's not been easy to get here. The affirmative has it and the motion is adopted. It is a day of hope. Things are changing. In a landmark decision without much debate, Pastor Scott Lothi says the United Methodist Church is making a historic shift towards acceptance and inclusion. This new openness, this new day, where all of God's children are embraced in the care and keeping of the, of the church's ministry. Delegates voted overwhelmingly to overturn the ban on gay clergy and penalties for holding same-sex marriages. It just brings delight to my heart that will uh, be more open, more inclusive. For years, church members have fought over the issue. In the last four years, more than 7,600 UMC churches in the U.S., including about 20% in Iowa, disaffiliated, upset the LGBTQ bans were not being enforced. There's been some awfully tough debates, and um, a lot of harm has been done to persons um, who are, especially who are LGBTQ, but other persons on the margins of life. Lothi says he wrestles with the pain it took to get here. My heart is filled with hope um, that it'll, it'll be a new day and um, um, that language will no longer um, exclude someone from not only the care and keeping of the church, but leadership. Years after St. Timothy set their course to be more inclusive, the United Methodist Church is now following suit. After a long, hard uh, season of discernment, and yes, there's been loss, uh, but there's hope. The Iowa Annual Conference will still need to ratify any big changes locally. We're also expecting some other big votes coming up later this week that could remove the church's stance on homosexuality being incompatible with Christian beliefs and also saying that marriage is between two people of faith, not as it currently is between one man and one woman. In Cedar Falls, Daniel Pro News 7, KWWL. Yeah, Daniel, thanks for the update. We sure appreciate that.